Hello. So we are back Tuesday morning. And we have a laptop to fix. Quite dirty. But anyway, the problem with this laptop is just that also we don't have any light on the charging port. Let's check the charger. The charger we have 19.8. So we have a dead laptop to fix. This is a HP. Fifteen dash A H one five zero N A. Okay. One screw is missing. This laptop is coming from uh, our other shop. They have the big stickers. It was booked in yesterday. So let's have a look. Let's fix it. How hard can be? You know, we have no light. That means the nineteen volts or the 3.3 is not present or if it's present we have a dead super IO I remember the video, remember the video board with the power button so actually there are a lot of comments people telling you know you can clean the thingy and yeah it will work again but the problem is you cannot open a laptop keyboard you can't clean it you have like two foils you have one and you have the second and uh, there's no way to go inside and most of the faults it's not happening on the buttons. It's happening when the trucks are coming out from the keyboard. Yeah, on that point, yeah, liquid damage can do bad things. But usually the liquid is not really going inside of the keyboard. So, most likely there is a truck issue, not a power button actually problem. But you cannot, I, I don't know, I never... I never open a laptop keyboard. You can't open it. It's made to not be open. Let's take out the back cover. We have one more screw. We can take out the keyboard or... Uh... No, we can't take the, the, the keyboard. Is part with the body okay what's here a metal helper it's not anymore give me one second Yeah, let's see what can be here. It's looking good. You can see anything wrong with this laptop? I can't. Let's plug the charger and check. Plug in the charger. Let's get the multimeter and let's follow the procedure, yeah, like what we are doing. Checking the 19 first, ground, ground, ground. 19 on the charging connector. We do have 19, yeah, 19.8. Then we have here, we can see here clearly, first MOSFET, second MOSFET, current resistor. And on the current resistor we have zero. I'm happy because... Uh, uh, I'll tell you, it is a story with this fault. Uh, 
Okay, so one more time, we have first MOSFET, you can see, you can clearly see, so the plus, yeah, like that's the plus, you can see that's the plus, yeah. It's coming here, you have this PL, which probably it's an inductor, but my point of view is just a zero ohm resistance, so you can say it's a re inductor or a carbon resistor. And it's coming to the first MOSFET, the output is coming to the second MOSFET, and then you have the current sensor here, okay. And our power is stopping, let's see, here we have zero, yeah? So here we have zero, here we have 19. And I'm, I made a few videos with this fold. Like, you remember we short the boss fed and it's working, and they said, you know what? The second MOSFET is shorted. Can be. And yes, I checked the schematic. And if the second MOSFET is shorted, is shorted no, sorry. If the second MOSFET is shorted, it will charge fine, it will work great, yeah? If the second MOSFET gate is shorted with anything, yes, then it will not charge or uh, it will not work. So what we will do, we will unplug the charger, we will check the second MOSFET. That's what I will do. And the second MOSFET is not shorted. Surprise! <laughs> you understand? So if I will short now the first MOSFET, you'll still say it's dodgy and it's not charging. Let's see. Let's come with the power supply because there can be a short. 19 volts, around 1 amp. And check on the power supply, the voltage get dropped to 0 0.7, so yeah, it is a short. That's the reason why the, that MOSFET is not open. You see, this is a clear, nice fault, you know, it's it's it's, it's so beautiful. It's, it's, it, you have a shorted something, either it's a MOSFET or a capacitor. But you know your laptop, it will be fixed in the next five minutes. You know, that, that's the good part. Ground. Let's see. Two amps, and that's the moment when you wish to have a thermal camera, but we don't have. So we need to use our fingers. Yeah, sometimes you can get burned, but probably that's the beauty of this uh, job no I can't really feel anything. I don't want and I don't want to burn my fingers. Because usually I'm checking with this part of the finger which is more uh, sensitive. And when you when you get burned is it's just bad. Yeah, I feel some warm thing here, so I think we have to take out the heat sink. The battery is still plugged, but that's not that's not a problem because even the battery has the protective circuit, so when it's short, the power is get disconnected. Nothing here. And the short has a low resistance. You can see it's like, wait, it's 0 0.9 on that side, but on this side is like, yeah, 0 0.9. So the short has a very low resistance. 
That's me most likely it is a capacitor, not a MOSFET. And also it will be hard to be found to, just because it has a low resistance. Let's go with 3 amps. Eh? Okay, here So it clearly the coil is warm Which is bad. If the coil is warm, it's bad. Trust me. I can only hope the heat is coming from one of those capacitors. So let's have a look together to see from where the heat is coming. But if it's coming from the coil, actually something is shorted. Most likely a MOSFET. Yeah, it can be wrong. Yeah, so that's what I see, what I feel the heat. I'll come with the power. Power. And I can't see anything here. Really? Let's go with four amps, yeah? Four amps. Hmm? You can see anything? So I can feel the cold warm, yeah? I can't see where is this drive. Here. Well, I think it's on the other side of the board, it's somewhere here. Let me pay attention on those capacitors. But the board get evaporated on the same time. But here, check here. Look here. Here. You know what? I can bet it's one of these those capacitors. Yeah? Let me get the, the nozzle. Uh, you know what, I don't believe it's a capacitor. Or maybe it is. <clears throat> okay, let's get out the capacitor, yeah? We have two capacitors here. Let's take out the first one. But we should do it, like how we said, five minutes. We should do it, we should fix it in five minutes. And it's still short. Let's take out the second one. And it's still short. Okay, the short is not on this side of the board. The short is on the other side of the board. Good. Perfect. 
the short it is on the other side of the board and we need to take out a lot of things including the battery I was hoping, you know, to be something simple, quick, like quick, 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 there is nothing quick. We have to take out the motherboard and probably the fault is on the other side. So we have the Wi-Fi antenna here. Then we have the speaker connector. Okay. Now we can take this out. We have one more screw here. One more here, and two on the LAN port. <clears throat> and then we have the screen connector. And the charging port. And there, what is there? We have the BIOS battery. It's not even point checking. Yeah, you can see, you can clearly spot the fault. Let's have a look. So, what do you think is the problem? <laughs> So this looks like a liquid damage and yes the capacitor is gone this capacitor is gone it's not even point checking testing no clearly the capacitor is gone oh i can see more liquid damage here so check here. Look. So this has a liquid damage from the from the the keyboard side. But we can clean it. Yeah. We can clean it. Most likely, probably the keyboard is not working. Mm -hmm. You don't think? No, the pins are still fine.
They tried the board. We can reset the bias. Done. We can put the board back and test. <clears throat> now, it depends on the shop. Uh, I don't think the keyboard is covered on these kind of repairs by any computer shop. So, you know, it's a water damage uh, job. I do fix your laptop, but the keyboard, it's extra charge. Right? We can check for sure now, again. And it's not short anymore, it's taking 30 milliamps, you can see on the... Yeah, it's fine. We can see if it's coming on before we are closing the, uh, the laptop. Power button, this is the power button. Let's plug the charger. And we have the light on the on the charging port. You can see the light. Let's see if we press the power button. Where is the power? The power button is here. Uh, yeah, and it's coming on a hot picture. Fan, system fan. Yeah, because the fan is not plugged in, but the board is working. The super I/O is good. <coughs> so this is optional. If the customer want to also replace the keyboard, that's why I don't care about the keyboard. That's that's an extra thing. Yeah. And you'll say yes, sorry, but he he will pay for the motherboard repair, but he can't use it. Yes, he can use it. He can buy an external keyboard, which is like ten pound, and he can use it. Okay. But obviously, replacing the keyboard is another story. Good, fun is plugged in. Everything looks plugged in. We need to connect the battery. Okay, we have one more even cable here. The Wi Fi antenna. <clears throat> the 
the thing, the cables come behind of this, yeah. Sometimes we are getting these kind of easy jobs. Which is nice, it's like a, you know, it's like a game. You have to find the hidden capacitor, yeah, the shorter one. Good, then we have the screws. Let's put only a few screws and test, yeah? Let's see. We can also check the keyboard. Heat sink, we don't need heat sink. Let's power up the laptop. The power is on, the fan is spinning. Actually, we do need a heat sink. Okay, I will replace the thermal paste after that, yeah? Because that's, that's fair to replace the thermal paste. If we remove the heat sink, we should have we, we should replace the thermal paste. But we can do it after. What screws was here on the heat sink? Okay, the smallest one, okay. And we have the, the thingy, the black thingy here. Let's plug the charger, power on. And now it's fine. And the window, the windows is loading. That's a good sign. I'm just curious if the keyboard is still working. But the idea is, if you have a liquid damage on the capacitor, most likely, you know, the capacitor can be dead. You have to pay attention. That's why it's good when you take the job before any anyone else touched that, that laptop because you can see clearly where it was the liquid damage and you can uh, spot the faulty component there
So you see those keyboards which are inside of the frame, it's, this is a nightmare to be replaced. It's not a nightmare, but it's, it's just a long job. It's just long. So hopefully the keyboard is working. And I do have another water damage job. This is not the only one. Okay, so the laptop is on. I can see the charging sign on the screen, so the battery is charging fine. Let me check the keyboard. And the keyboard is working, I can't believe. I can't show it because it's an email address. Huh. The keyboard is working. Fantastic. So I'll stop now. You know, I can only wish everyone watching this video to have these easy jobs, which I'm sure you can handle it. You know, I'm sure you can do it. Okay, so I'll stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.